Hi, this is Student Nick Payne, and this is Word Origins 412. Uh, the word origin today is moonshine, and we got two meanings and two uses. Okay, somebody wants a screenshot, do it right now. Let's get right to it. All right, a first meaning, the main meaning, a type of high proof alcohol usually produced illegally, typically whiskey. We say high proof, it means it has a very high alcoholic content. Uh, it could be some other types of alcohol besides whiskey, too. Um, and the second meaning is the light of the moon, which is also connected to the idea of moonshine. All right. Uh, let's continue. The term moonshine started to be used to refer to alcohol in the 1700s in England. Uh, and it derived from the idea that since it was usually illegal, you know, probably trying to avoid paying tax on it, most of the time it was probably produced in the middle of the night before electricity. Thus, alluding to the idea of using the light of the moon, you know, to be able to see what they were doing, especially during full moons. The cool air of the night would also help the distillation, distillation process. Okay, let's continue. All right, uh, the practice in the U.S. is believed to have evolved in Pennsylvania, where moonshiners tried to avoid paying whiskey tax. At that time, whiskey was sometimes traded like a currency, almost like money at that time. It was that valuable. Okay. And we've got four examples here to show just how it's used. Here's the first one. Grandpa had his own still. You know, that's the machine for making, you know, moonshine. Uh, and made homemade moonshine in the countryside. Okay. Number two. Uh, the sheriff arrested and confiscated his still for making moonshine. Good. Number three, he has a connection that he often buys his moonshine from. Maybe somebody knows a person that makes moonshine and sells it to them, maybe at a, at a good price. Number four, the moonshine industry thrived during the years of prohibition in the U.S. when, when it was illegal, you know, way back in the 1920s and up to the early 1930s. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it was clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.